Hi there, my name is Janessa or Miss Chesnick to my students. Um, I want to show you a really cool part about class equity, um, which is the bonus fines and bills portion. So with us coming back for the second quarter, uh, my standards are a little bit higher for my students. So I want to make sure that they understand that and that they're receptive to it and see those transactions on class equity. So I've gone ahead and I've added a few things as well as changed the prices of some things. So I just wanna go through and kind of show you how I have my bonuses and fines set up, and then we'll go over the bills portion. So these are some of my bonuses that I have for my students. If we have 100% class attendance for the day, I give everyone $30. It's just kind of a nice way to start their day. They know that they get money for it. Um, our school, we do these compliment cards if they're, if the students are walking well down the hallway or they're like quietly and patiently waiting and we get a compliment card, they get money for that as well. Um, another thing that we do is we have these learning paths that the students do during these um, reading intervention and math intervention times. So every time that they complete a path and they earn a trophy, they get $15 for a trophy, just as an incentive for them to continue working on them because as they progressively go through and collect those trophies, their paths get harder and it's a little defeating sometimes when they feel like they can't accomplish it. So it's it's an extra little thing for them to say, okay, if I get another trophy, I can get more money, um, which is something that a lot of them look forward to. So um, some of the stuff is just to show students that doing the right thing is just the expectation. So, you know, showing perseverance. If if they're having a rough day, but they're still working hard and they're participating and I see that or, you know, we had a conversation off to the side and just, you know, th they let me know. So I acknowledge that and let them know that I understand and, you know, I appreciate them putting forth the effort, even though, you know, maybe they're not in the right mindset or maybe they're just having an off day. Um, and then I do this fun thing, uh, teacher's choice, where I randomly select a student. Sometimes I'll use like the wheel of names. I'll randomly select a student and then I secretly watch their behavior for the whole day. And if they have great behavior, then they will get $15. If they don't, I don't necessarily say anything to them. Um, they won't get the money. Um, but if I feel that that student in the entire class had a good day, then everyone gets $15. Um, so it's really like a like an incentive for them to always be on task because they know if they earn money, then their class can earn money as well. Um, and then some of the stuff is just working well with a group or partner, just encouraging that collaboration. I think that's super important, especially in a fifth grade classroom. So um, then the bigger thing that I focus on is fines. So um, one thing is the classroom consequences, you know, their first offense is a verbal warning. So yesterday I went through and I explained this whole process to them. So their first offense is, uh, is $20. Everything after that is $50. Um, and then their final offense is $50, um, which also includes an after school detention. So it actually ends up being $250, which they freaked out about. So they're really, really working on their behavior and making sure that there aren't any problems or anything like that to avoid all of those fines. Um, sometimes we have attitude problems, so I made sure that they know, you know, you might not like school, but you're here. I'm happy you're here. You know, there's no need to, you know, get frank with me or upset or anything like that. So um, I do have fines on here just for, you know, your attitude and, um, we eat breakfast in the classroom, so making sure that when they come in, they already have their breakfast, that they're not going back to the, the breakfast part because they come in, they get their breakfast, then they come to the classroom just to eliminate wasting time in the morning. Um, this is that final offense that I was talking about. I am kind of an OCD person, like everything has a place. So when my classroom is messy, it's a little stressful, so I have like a messy classroom fine. And then I also have a messy area fine for those students who just need to learn to pick up after themselves. You know, it's not your it's not your bedroom. You know, your parents aren't going to come in and pick up after you. And that's not the purpose of the custodian. So that's something that I kind of preach a lot about. 
And, um, you know, recess issues, if there's things going on at recess where a teacher has to talk to you or there's just concerns. Um, and then talking in the bathroom, talking in the hallway. Um, the Talking in the hallway is a little bit bigger because since we're in an elementary school and fifth grade is the highest grade, the expectation is that those younger kids are watching them. So if they're talking in the hallway, then those kindergartners will think, oh, I can talk in the hallway too, which is not what we're trying to um, get them to do. So we kind of explain that so that way they know, okay, I cannot be talking in the hallway right now. Um, and then another thing is the bills. So they have to understand that every month at the end of the month, whether it's the 30th or the 31st, they have bills that they have to pay. So one is internet. I normally have them set at $20, but this is something I'm going to change and I'm going to show you how you, you can do this with the bonuses and fines as well. So um, let's say I'm going to change the internet. So I click on this little piece of paper and when you hover over it, it says edit bill. So if I wanted to change the name, I could do that, but I don't really want to do that. Um, and then the value, I'm actually gonna do 30, and then I can save it. Um, rent, I tell them it's just for them being here, you know, and everything like that. So I'm just gonna change this one to 25. Um, and then another thing that I wanna do is I wanna add a bill. So the students have Chromebooks, but they're not their own personal. So I'm gonna charge them for renting Chromebooks. So I'm gonna click over here to add bill. My title is going to be Chromebook Renting. And the value is going to be $25. So then at the end of the month, they know, okay, I have two bills that are $25, so $50, and then I have another bill for $30. So they have to know that I'm going to owe this money at the end of the month at the end of the month. So the most important thing is for them to realize I have to have this much money at least by the end of the month so I can pay it. I have a lot of students that actually do have um, negative balances. So there is consequences with that. Normally, if it's possible, I have them do things for me around the room so that way I can pay them. Otherwise, if that's not a possibility, they end up owing me laps outside. And so for every lap they do, it's $10. So if they do five laps, they get 50. Um, so that's something that I really, really get on them about is making sure that you don't get negative balances. Um, and then, yeah, um, I guess that's gonna kind of be my portion of this video. I'll do another one later, just kind of like talking about my store and what I have on there. But for now, I just really wanted to go over these, the bonuses and the fines and the bills and just explain kind of what that looks like for, for me and my students. So hopefully this was helpful, encouraging, maybe you got some good ideas out of it. Um, let me know what you think. Thanks, have a great day.